Hey guys, Andrew here from the Adelaide Appliance Gallery, home of the iconic Mr. Dishwasher. And I'm here with uh, Simon, who's our senior workshop, senior workshop technician. And uh, today we're going to be talking about a, um, a common scenario that we see in the field with the uh, a dishwasher not draining. So um, everything we're about to show you today is general in nature, so please always follow your instruction manuals and, and guidance from your manufacturer. All right, guys, so we've established that there's water in the machine. Um, the machine's not draining, either a fault code or as we can see at the end of the cycle, we've still got all this water in here. There's a couple of things we can do to um, rectify it as a customer at home, and that's one, we'll remove the filters. If it's nice, clean water, and you can see in the base, make sure there's no obstructions. Be very mindful that if it's broken glass, that it's gonna be very difficult to see, and you could cut yourself. So just be aware of that, um, which might involve having to drain the water out manually before you actually put your hands in there. We can see our filters are extremely clean. There's no blockages on them. And we, can, we, we notice that there's no foreign objects in the machine, so we'll put that back in and we'll go, come over to under the sink and we'll have a look there. Now, a lot of questions we get is, um, what's the difference between the inlet hose and the drain hose? Up here, we've got the drain hose, and that's what we'll be looking at today. Over here, just as a side note, this is our inlet hose. It's got a box on it connected to the tap. If our machine isn't draining, what we would like to do is we'd like to remove this drain hose. So this, by doing this, we'll eliminate the plumbing in the house if we drain this straight into a bucket. So we'll take this clamp off, remove this hose, be mindful that there'll be water in there because the machine's not draining. Tip it into a bucket. If we cancel a program or we start a machine on most dishwashers, the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna drain. So as we can see, the machine's draining into the bucket quite smoothly. So in this case, we would say that we've got a blockage in here, which is what we would refer to as a spigot. The sink might be working fine, but you probably have a little blockage just in this bit. And by getting a flat blade screwdriver or something similar, you can normally scrape out anything that's in this spigot and make sure that it's clear. Well, I hope you found that video of use. For any general maintenance and cleaning of dishwashers and washing machines, we do recommend that you run the scatter through your dishwasher washing machine. Um, we've got a Power 4 product that does that. Um, we'll be talking a little bit more about Power 4 in a future video, but um, we recommend running um, your machine at a 60 or 70 degree cycle uh, to clean out all the, all, the, all the gunk and crap. So like, share and comment if you thought that was of use. Um, and uh, you can reach us um, via the website www.adelaideappliancegallery.com.au by Instagram and Facebook at Adelaide Appliance Gallery or if you're in Adelaide give us a call on 8223 1146.